what's out there and the insights and the trends. Like, if you see any trends out there, it basically comes from Intel or um, tech, Technomic um, Menu Monitor. That's another um, resource. And also the vendors itself, they actually do have many vendors that come in and then they provide information. They give presentations like from an inch. They actually just recently gave um, BK a presentation on street food, which was amazing. I actually helped out with that and I actually got to taste all the food. Delicious. And um, Kraft Foods, Tyson, they're all in there when I was down there too. So it was really fun just working with all of them. Um, this is basically the essentials and these are the thought processes that go into coming up with um, a new concept in at BK. It has to be simple, everyday indulgence, convenience, it has to fit into the marketing strategy. Because they're, I mean, marketing is such a really big importance at their team because that, that's how they get the revenue in the system. Um, it has to be flavorful, of course. Um, it has to relate to the soup food because that's who's actually going to these restaurants. Um, innovative and also has to be trendy. How, how do they identify the super fan? Um, well, they basically, um, I guess, I, I would think that they would um, like have questionnaires and ask people, random people, do you go to fast food restaurants more than like 10 times a month? Then they figure out that the, that they're the super. Mm -hmm. And so if we, if you eat in all the time, not necessarily. Yeah. Not necessarily. Um, white space. I for this presentation that I did, I I just did three of them kind of because there are other white spaces, but for the importance of what I developed, I just wanted to establish that salads, chicken items, and desserts were very much a white space in the menu um, in comparison to like McDonald's, which um, salads, or Wendy's actually, Wendy's is a great example of salads. They just came out with a new platform for salads and Burger King doesn't, I think they only have two salads. That's really not sufficient in the fast food world. Um, chicken items, I think um, KFC is probably the biggest one that has chicken items, but McDonald's, actually is bigger and better than BK in that. And they're trying to accomplish that a little bit more. And desserts, uh, desserts are kind of a little bit iffy. All they have really is the pies and the thumb cake sticks right now. Not ice cream, of course. But there's not a lot of variety. So what I did throughout the process of the 10 weeks that I was there was um, kind of to, to develop some some new concepts to pitch the board. This is a Caesar lettuce wrap that I actually, it, it didn't even come to be this way until like the last two weeks of my internship before. It was only going to be the romaine lettuce and then with the, um, the dressing and then like a topper, which could be bacon bits. Um, but for, for the, my presentation, I actually kind of changed it up. Um, I, I did this because it was more or less like feasible, I guess, to a consumer. Is that the container? Being yeah. Served in? Yep. Yep. It's um, it's it's very innovative. Um, it's by, by Depaco, um, and I actually worked with a lot of vendors on this too. Um, Ready Pack and Dole I had to get in contact with them to see if they can do it the right spec for the remaining hearts and um, also the cedar dressing um, Heinz or Ventura Foods I actually worked with on that and then um, the crunchy mini croutons it didn't actually come to be that I could get the crunchy mini little croutons which Sugar Foods does have but what I had to do is like roll out like regular croutons that you get at a retail store and like rolled it out on the rolling pin and try to get it as fine and granule as possible for this presentation. Um, and this, the position of this is that it's trendy and it's an innovative snack or salad. It's like on the go. You, it's not going to fulfill your need for like a, a full 
meal, but it's a snack. Or it's a healthy option. Um, the purposes and benefits of this is that it's a fun and exciting approach to help um, handheld the snack. And it's a healthy alternative, of course. Uh, although the chicken fry, it's fried food, so <laughs> can't really necessarily have it all that healthy, but at the same time, it's not all fried food. It has some grub, it has some greens in it. Um, it's also convenient, too. And it's a, another platform for a wrap, like you see tortilla wraps. It's just another way of having a wrap, but not having the carbs to go along with it. Um, and also, it's a street food. You see that more and more nowadays, and you see it on the Food Network. And it's going to be more popular as days go on. And this item, I actually came up with this by my own self. The, the lettuce wrap was kind of like a collaborative effort with the corporate chef and myself. But this was actually, this was born out of the intern ideation session that I was actually involved in. And so the, all the interns, there was like 21 interns throughout the whole entire corporate headquarters for the summer. And so we had this intern ideation session. And so all, like, what we did there was we got into groups, we did a lot of brainstorming, like, okay, what's a sweet indulgence? What's a mini indulgence? What what could be a great platform for a bird and, like for the upcoming years? So this was actually one of the top, I think, it was actually supposed to be cake fries, which it could be possible, but at the same time, to have it a fry, considered a fry, it'd probably be really small, and Going through the frying process, it would just absorb the oil a little bit too much. So I kind of put them into like French toast sticks a little bit. And what I did, this is actually, it's not manufacturing terms, but it could be very easily translated to manufacturing. Um, what I did was I kicked, or baked off chocolate cake and vanilla cake, and then like froze the cake um, into strips and then battered it and then bread it and then fried it and then it's going to be served with a vanilla icing and sprinkles on the side so it's kind of like happy birthday every day it, it like you have your birthday every day have it your way and that's bk's kind of thing so that's what i did for that um and the benefits of this is that it's fun it's a, a new alternative to traditional dessert. <coughs> and also similar to the other Burger King dessert items and items itself, like the plum cake sticks, it's just another translation into it. And also it's nostalgic. Like you would think that you'd get this at like a state fair a little bit. And so that's kind of how I went up went about positioning this. This um, kind of was another um, idea that I came up with. Um, it actually, it was a little bit changed after the Alpha Chef's team um, presentation because one of the guys on the team come, comes from CSM Grill and he brought in some microwavable bakeable cake batter, which you can actually bake it in the microwave itself and it would cook and it would not be raw whatsoever after you put it in the microwave. And this, these two items um, are, um, first of all, I'll go through the purposes. It's a mini indulgence. Um, it's just like a little shot. And it's innovative operations. Um, you could actually, this is a perfect ending to a meal. Like, if you don't really want a pie, but you want, you don't want ice cream, this would be another way to fulfill your sweet tooth and everything like that. And then also, it's it's currently in um, casual dining, which um, the the trend or the process through how um, QSR gets all their ideas and how it works is that it comes from fine dining, like the the ideas that come from fine dining goes to casual dining, and then it splits off into retail and then QSR. So it's already Applebee's has had dessert shots for the last like or four years. So I think it's about time that quick service could actually use this. Um, Chili's is using it right now too. 
And then for the mocktail theme, 